I'm Rochelle Stevenson, and today I want to show you an exercise that I have as part of my series towards a higher attitude and higher arabesque. Um, but it's a really great exercise for not only external rotation and glute activation, but the dynamic and functional um, capabilities of putting that together as a dancer. So what you'll need is something to hold on to. So you can use a ball like this, even one with a little bit of weight. You can use a rolled up towel or you can use a yoga block, whatever really fits with your knees, your body the best way. So we're gonna start off with the ball. You're gonna put it directly, well, you're gonna start parallel. <laughs> you're gonna put it directly behind your knee right here in the popliteal area. So just holding it and just balancing a little bit here to get started. Tuck the tail, pull the belly button in, and we'll just work on a little external rotation in the hip. As you do this, you don't want to lift the whole leg to the side. You know, try and keep your knee where it is and externally rotate here. Different muscles involved. So pulling the belly button in, in, keeping the shoulders back like technique would be. Start with five to ten reps of this. I like to have this leg parallel because I think it's easier to find that hip alignment, but you could also do it turned out if you prefer. Just make sure that that leg isn't pronated, rolling in and off. Correct form. So start with five to 10 on that side, switch to the other. We'll do 10 today. Pull the belly button in, shoulders down, checking alignment, one, two, rotating all the way, three. Make sure your hip doesn't go out at all. Seven, eight, nine, 10. I'm grabbing it, switching legs back to the other side. Here's the second part. Putting it back right where it was. Making sure that your hips don't anteriorly tilt. Touch tail slightly. Turn out and then you're gonna do a little attitude lift. Again, five to 10. What you wanna be careful of doing, if you look from this angle, is the legs not out to the side. Again, that abduction or alisabesque, as sometimes it's called in dance. But with this leg parallel turned out, you're trying to really reach it behind you. So there's a little more glute engagement. So five to 10 in that way and switch to the other leg. What this does is it uses something called active insufficiency to help the hamstrings be engaged at one joint so that we can require the glutes to work more on the other joint. So the hamstrings are engaged at the knee and the glute is engaged more so at the hip. The trick with this though, is that a lot of people wanna use their back and back extensors which you do need a little bit in order to do an arabesque. When that hip goes above 30 degrees, you have to let the hips go forward a little bit. But what we wanna really work on is utilizing the rest of those muscles, those glutes, which don't get off worked very often in order to maintain that position. Also, so then when you have used your full extension with your back, you can get a little extra using those glutes as well. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear how this goes for you. Please comment below or reach out to me directly. I can be reached at email at thebarandbeyond at gmail.com.